Hey guys, it's me Glitch Games, and welcome back to another YouTube video. Today I'll be showing you guys how to host a Minecraft server for completely free. I actually did a video on another free Minecraft host about a year ago, and it has become apparent that that host no longer works reliably, but I'm doing this again because it's been highly recommended in the comments section of that video that I do another video on a working one, and that video got 150,000 views, so I mean, yeah. We're back at it again today. Today I'll be showing you guys how to use for licks nodes which is a 100% free minecraft 24 7 server host for any type of minecraft server flix host actually even allows you to use mods and custom plugins on your server if you're looking for high quality plugins that don't chew up your server resources check out the video sponsor Singoda marketplace more on them later just a disclaimer guys, Felix Nodes does actually feature ads on their website that help them pay their monthly costs of hosting a free server. So for Felix Nodes to work for you, you're going to have to disable your ad blocker for Felix Nodes. Felix Nodes starts you off with 3 gigabytes of RAM, 1 CPU core, 15 gigabytes of storage space, and the ability to create up to 3 servers from your initial sign up. You can, however, upgrade your server specifications to the store using a currency known as Felix Coins. Available purchases with Felix Coins include extra RAM, extra CPU cores, extra storage space, extra servers, extra databases, and extra ports. Felix coins can be earned for completely free by completing tasks such as joining promoted Discord servers, watching ads through their mobile application, and even through their GPU and CPU mining software. I'll get more into how to earn Felix coins later on in the video. Now that you have all the information that you could possibly need to know about Felix nodes, let's get right into the tutorial and show you how to sign up. But first, a word from our sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Singoda. Singoda is a new and unique marketplace with hundreds of high quality, free and paid custom plugins to improve your overall Minecraft server experience. With the help of community and developer feedback, Singoda is constantly working on improving the overall user experience. Singoda features both their own plugins and plugins from developers you already know and love. Don't want to take my word for it? Well, why not listen to all the happy and satisfied customers? Link to the Skangoda Marketplace will be in the description, so why not give it a try? Alright guys, so step one to getting your free Minecraft server is going to be signing up on the Felix node website, which you're going to see, you've got the website with all of the information on here, and you're just going to want to press the only a few steps left to create your server button, or the start now button up here. Either one works, but we're just going to click on this button here, and it's going to bring us to the register slash login page, and your account is fully done through discord so you're going to click on here on the discord button and it's going to authorize you through discord so if you already have an account you're going to do the exact same step it'll just know that you have an account if you don't have an account it'll be the same you'll just be creating account there so you just need to authorize by clicking the authorize button all right guys easy as that as you can see, I'm in my brand new Felix Nodes account. You can see I have zero Felix coins, and you can see that we've been landed on a welcome screen with some start off promotional offers that we can complete to earn Felix coins. If you come and have a look at the side bar here, you can see we've got a few options such as the store, join force, rewards etc but we're going to head to the main page so that we can see all of our current specifications so as i said before we have three gigabytes of ram three servers one core 15 gigabytes of disk space uh, no databases no extra ports and no backups and as you can see our website is not ad free so you can upgrade all of these things through the store but we're going to start off and we're going to create a server. So you're gonna go onto the sidebar and hit create server. Next, it'll ask you for when you were born. This is just to make sure that you meet inside of the minimum age threshold. There you go, and now you hit submit. And now we can create a server. We're gonna hit create. All right, guys, now we've been greeted by this information screen. It's just gonna ask you for consent of what you want emails for. So by default, it'll have necessary email notifications ticked. I would recommend keeping that ticked. So we're just gonna consent to the selected ticks and hit that button. 
Okay, now that we've made it to the final step before we can create our server and we're gonna have to actually join two Discord servers. You only need to join two Discord servers. So you're going to receive 100 Flix coins per Discord server as well. And you'll also be able to create your Minecraft server. So we're just gonna hit join on that one. That one, we're gonna join this one. Now you're going to wanna log out and log back into the website. So I'm gonna hit log out up here, just in the corner here with your little bubble, log out. And you'll be greeted with this screen. And now we're gonna log back in once again by pressing the Discord button. So now I've come back here and I've actually gone to create server. And because I'm currently recording this video when the nodes are under a lot of high volume, which actually it could be most times of the day, the nodes are under high volume. Uh, they actually want you to pay 500 for Lix coins um, to get 100% uptime and server reliability. Um, obviously, this is a free host and 500 Flix coins is not hard to get. We're going to go to join for rewards. So if that does happen, you just need to join enough servers to earn 500 Flix coins and then go and purchase the upgrade. All right, guys, so I've just joined a number of servers. It literally took me less than five minutes to do. I've joined a number of servers. As you can see, I've got all of these on joined and I've joined all the servers in here. I probably will show the time lapse of me doing it so that you guys know that I haven't just waved a wand and coins have appeared, which is kind of what I did. I clicked a few buttons and coins have appeared, but you can do that too. Um, so now you're gonna go back to create server. You're going to click here to get your free upgrade for 500 Flix coins. You're gonna buy the upgrade and this upgrade is actually really cool. So if you weren't able to create the server due to high load and you have to buy this upgrade, it's actually really cool because this uh, upgrade gives you 100% server availability, which means that your server will be available 24 hours of the day, no matter if there is a high load or not, because you'll get boosted performance across all your servers. I'm gonna hit buy upgrade. And as you can see, I've purchased the upgrade and I can now create servers in upgrade only nodes. So essentially the free nodes were down and we're now creating a server in the upgrade only node, which is um, pretty cool. We're going to give our server a name. We're going to call it YouTube video. Now we can say how much RAM we want to allocate. We still have that three gigabytes of RAM. So I'm going to say that I want to allocate two gigabytes of RAM, which remember you can buy extra RAM from the store and you can actually actually upgrade to up to, I think, 16 gigabytes of RAM per server. So you can actually get 16 gigabytes of RAM per server, if I'm not mistaken, if you buy the upgrades. And then location, there's only one available option, which is called ultimate tier. There might be different available options if you're creating a server at a different time. And we're gonna press create. All right, guys, so we've successfully created our YouTube video server. You can see we've got 15, gigabytes of disk space, two gigabytes of memory, one core, no databases, no extra ports, and no backups. Once again, guys, you can upgrade all this through the store. Um, it's worth mentioning also the store, everything is a one-time purchase, which means that if you purchase extra RAM, that'll stay there forever. All right, to log into the panel, you're going to want to press here, log into the panel. This is the exciting bit because we're going to get to the panel. So just open up the panel link in a new tab. Your email address is going to be up here and you've got your set password. So you're going to want to click here to set your password because currently it doesn't have a password. You're going to go here. You'll be greeted with this screen and you're going to press change game panel password. It'll just give you a few seconds and it says success. Your game panel account is changed. Your new password is, and here's your new password. Copy and paste that password in here and press login. All right, guys, now we're inside of the Pterodactyl panel. If you've ever used a server host that um, uses Pterodactyl, this will look very familiar to you. We're going to click on our server YouTube video and here we can manage our server. As you can see here, we have our file manager, which is currently empty as we haven't actually created the server yet. Got our databases, schedules, users, backups, network, startup settings, etc. If you've ever used um, 
a control panel. This will be all very familiar to you. If you haven't, I'm gonna show you how to do this. All right, guys, now coming into our console area, we're going to start our server for the first time. So we're gonna hit start. And here we have the start up menu. We're going to hit one for downloading Minecraft. We're going to hit two for downloading Paper MC because I prefer over Spigot and for some reason Spigot seems to be having a bit of an issue with Felixnode at the moment. I'm sure it'll get fixed very quickly, but I would currently suggest using Paper MC. So we'll select two. Now we're gonna select our version. We're gonna select 1.16.1 .1, just because that's the version that I already have launched on Minecraft. You can choose any version though. We're just going to agree to the terms of service and then it's going to start building our server for us. All right, so now our server is ready to go and it's currently in listening mode, which is an idle mode that doesn't consume as many resources and it'll, so basically when a player joins, it'll start up the server. So I'm going to join to start up the server and as you can see, it's starting the server now. And this is a really creative way to start the server. It's gonna be downloading all the jars. And also just a note, if you get a Java error, okay, we're gonna accept the UALA. I'll talk about the Java error after the UALA. All right, so our server's now ready to go. But first, before we do that, I'm just going to talk about the Java. So there is actually three different versions of Java. Java 16 is for 1.17. This one is for like, I think, 1.9 through 1.16 and this one is for anything under that um, So yeah, just play around with this if it's not working with the Java versions But Java 11 should be for most of the ones in between Java 16 is for the brand new Java For the brand new 1.17 Alright, um, oh, I already accepted to the UALA, but we'll do it again <laughs> Alright, now let's join the server and it should Yep, there we go. Now it'll start it up for the first time. As you can see, it's doing the usual startup, which this will take about two to three minutes. So we'll just speed through the first time creating a Minecraft server. I'm sure you guys have all been there. It takes ages. All right, guys, our server has started up and it is running. We're going to connect to our server once again with this same server IP address that is found right up here. You can actually click on it to copy it to your clipboard. I'm going to hit on here. We're going to hit di direct connect and we're going to connect now. It's loading the train, loading us into the game. And look at these beautiful um, grass planes out here. I think my key buttons aren't set up correctly, but it's fine. We're not trying to do any intense gaming here. Um, but yeah, look at all the chunks loading in for the very first time ever. I'll chuck this in full screen for you guys to see. We've got the horsies that we're gonna punch the living hell out of. I don't know, that was a little bit violent. I don't know why I did that. No. Sorry horse, sorry horse. All right, now I'm opt, I can check the TPS, which is 20, 20, 20, awesome. We love to see a 20 TPS. Um, and we're going to actually stop the server. And to fully stop the server, you actually have to press kill as well. So we've killed the server, it's fully offline now. We're going to go to the file manager plugins and we're going to add a random plugin that is somewhere in my downloads folder. <laughs> All right, here we go, we've got essentials. We'll add a literally 10 year old essentials file. Like this has got to be over a year old at least, but we'll add this. And you can add worlds and stuff as well, but I'm just gonna add a plugin to demonstrate that the file manager works. You also have SFTP access um, if you want to do that right here. So that's also an option. All right, so we've added that file in and we're going to start the server. When you're starting the server, you're gonna have to put these same things in. One for Minecraft, make sure that it's the same settings as you had before, or you can do different settings. It'll keep your plugins and everything. It'll just launch it in a different version. This is just changing the jar, it won't change anything else. But I suggest keeping the same jar because you might have compatibility issues. So one for Minecraft, two for Paper MC, and 1.16.1 for the version. All right, and the server is almost started up. Just got to load the end. And it's started up. Let's direct connect. And here we go. 
So we're inside of the server now. And there's nothing different as there was before. The world's still completely the same. Everything else is still completely the same. Other than the fact that we have essentials, which means we can do GMC. We're in creative mode now. Ah, fireballs. And now let's check the TPS again. 2020. Awesome. It's really just 20 TPS. The final stress test, guys. TNT. And we're going to do a bunch of it. Now, I didn't install World Edit, so unfortunately I'll have to place it manually. But we're going to get a bunch of TNT. We're not holding back. We're getting all of this TNT in for our final stress test. Maybe just a little more, and I think we'll set it off with a fireball. Here we go. Alright, alright, let's check TPS. Oh no, TPS. 20 still! Wow, okay, that's incredibly impressive. The average TPS over the last 15 minutes has been 20. Um, so yeah, that's incredibly impressive. As you can see, this is a pretty impressive server that you get completely for free. Three, three gig, extra, this is two gigabytes of RAM because I didn't allocate all my three. The normal CPU hardware running at about 20 to 30-ish percent right now. One, one gigabyte-ish of RAM being used right now. So that's really impressive host. And that is all that you need to know about setting up your Minecraft server. I'm just going to talk about some other things here now. Felixnode does actually have a mobile application that you can use to... Felixnode does actually have a mobile application that allows you to earn Felix points for watching ads. You get three points per ad watched and you can watch up to 60 ads per 12 hours, which is a maximum of 360 points per day. So you can get a maximum of 360 points per day from that. Once again, you can join servers and you can also download their um, application for desktop it's called Felix software where you can log into your client panel on the Felix software and also your game panel and this is just a pretty cool thing you've got all the news on here so I do actually recommend downloading the software for this but if you don't feel comfortable downloading any software you don't have to everything works just the same on the website just the software is a little bit cleaner and a little bit quicker and also the last section is Felix mining. I talked about at the start how you can mine Felix coins with your CPU and GPU. Now this doesn't in come include with the program so don't worry you're not downloading a miner just by downloading this program. You have to separately download the CPU and GPU miner and you can run it through the command prompt on this application but you do actually have to download the CPU and GPU miner manually and if you're running both miners at the same time you can actually mine seven coins every 15 minutes which is 14 coins half an hour which is 28 coins in an hour and you can have that running all night so there's lots of ways to earn Felix coins get yourself some extra RAM and once again uh, that upgrade that we got for 500 coins is a monthly subscription so you'll need 500 coins a month but there's plenty of ways it literally takes five minutes to get 500 coins so there's no shortage of felix coins in all areas so that's how you earn felix coins anyways i think i've covered pretty much everything um do join their discord server for support i did have a few hiccups whilst recording this video and researching for this video and their friendly support team over here did help me out in literally under a second like literally like i asked the question they were back to me like so quickly so they do have tickets which are a little bit slower or you can use the community support which the community is so loving there's over a hundred and thousand members inside of the discord server so i have the discord server link in the description as well which i do recommend you join if you do have any other questions uh in general or any suggestions for videos you can comment that down below make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to help me out and also turn on post notifications so that you get notified because in the next video we're going to be showing you guys how to get a custom ip address from any domain name whether you're hosting the server off of a premium host like for example revive node hosting which you can use a glitch 
code glitch for 15% off or whether you're using uh, this hosting or whether you're hosting on your computer. No matter what you're hosting on or what the IP address is, you can get a custom one like Hypixel.net. So I'll have that as my next video. Anyways, guys, we will see you for that video next week. Bye.